Today is Friday, August 19th, 2021, 2022, sorry, it's 8.49 p.m. And I'm in, I'm currently still in Exuma. Today, the um, property management janitor guy or property management guy he um caught me on the property and alerted the police when the police came they was going to arrest me for trespassing and then I told them I told them why I was there on the property and I told him also that I had nowhere to go and they said they would still have to take me to the station because that is now vagrancy I never even heard of vagrancy to tell the truth didn't even know what it was so after speaking with the two sergeants for a while um, they um, said that the guy who called the police for me, who was a Haitian national um, working in the Bahamas for over 25 years, he offered me a place to stay for a little while, two or three days. I thought that was very kind of him because he didn't have to do it. Um, and being that um, Bahamians, some Bahamians have a problem with um, the Haitians being here working in the Bahamas um, illegally. I don't know if they have a problem with Haitians on the whole, but some people do. But I'm not one of those kind of people. I grew up with Haitians and Cubans and Americans. So I definitely don't have a problem with them. So, um, after we got through talking, um, instead of them arresting me or charging me with anything, um, they allowed me and the, the property management guy to go look at the place that he said that he would let me stay for two or three days. Um, a duck? Oh my God, they have ducks, flying ducks here. Oh wow, that was dinner, just got away. <laughs> um, so um, he took me to the place where I'm at now. Um, you can't really see it because it's nighttime, but I'm gonna show you it in the daytime. And um, he said that I could stay there instead of three days. He said I could stay there, stay here for three weeks to a month and he's not gonna charge me any rent. But um, he, he would be able to utilize my skills, which um, are many, even in um, masonry, electrical, um, brickwork, um, the um, sheetrock, drywall, I could do all of that. Not only am I just a software engineer, and a teacher and a computer technician and a network technician but I'm also a guy who can handle and I do roofing also so when you get 50 years old you tend to get a lot of skills under your belt if you wasn't asleep so um yeah I'm here and um I'll show you the place in the morning I already did a video of it so um, they showed me a bed that I could sleep in and I was sleeping on the beach or I would sleep on, I was sleeping on the patio at that, that place, a very beautiful place. And, um, I, shoot, I thought I was in paradise to tell the truth, but now that I'm here, I'm off the beach, off the coast, it's very dark around here. 
Um, I hear some Haitian people living in the back. I heard, heard them speaking Creole, some women. Um, oh, shoot. A man just passed by. What a hell. I don't think he's seen me. I don't know if he's seen me. But I got to be very careful around here. But it's only one guy. I think I could take him on. That's if he don't have a gun. But anyway, they gave me a place to stay for probably a month. And he said that he would see if he could give me some work also. So that's what's going on now. So I'm in this big old house by myself that's under construction or renovation. And it's very hot inside, but it's honest, honestly, um, I think where I was was better, even though I was sleeping outside because it was cooler. Um, and it was, I think it was more relaxing. And you know what, today I was going out on one of them kayaks. I'm so glad I decided not to go on one of those kayaks. I was looking at videos and everything. I knew, I learned how to um, put the kayak in the water. I learned how to look at the paddle and know which, how to grab the paddle, the paddles. And I learned which side is up, up for the paddle and which side is down. I learned how to get back in the kayak if you fall over. Man, I went through kayak 101 so fast, and I went through other kayak courses so that I could be a good kayaker. And um, yeah, that's what I did. Oh boy, this white truck back. I think this white truck got something to do with this property. But anyway, so yeah, he gave me a place to stay, and um, I thank God for it. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure if they have rats and roaches, but I really don't like either. Um, so yeah, there's no coconut trees around here. So when I run out of water, I'm in problems, but I thank God that I, I still have a place to, um, lay my head and now I got a bed. It may not be the best bed in the world, but it's a bed. I haven't had a bed and I haven't laid in the bed and shoot since I was in Cuba and that was in June I think June I think June 15th is when I left Cuba I, I can't recall right now but yeah but anyway um, let me see how this go and um, I'm still on the run and, I, and oh my god uh, one of the police officers um, told the Haitian guy my situation with running from the gangs and I really didn't want nobody to know that and um, so, yeah, that's not a good thing for me. And I'm hoping that the, the Haitian guy don't run his mouth and tell other people. So, yeah, that's it. Good night. And don't forget to subscribe so I can eventually go live when something is happening, something is popping off, like an emergency or something. I could get these things on on video right to you right fast okay um thank you for viewing